So I've gotten a lot of questions pretty much on every league video I put up about how I changed my map to something other than the the tender shade of Shrek green we've had for the last 10 years. And obviously, like every good YouTuber, instead of just replying to the comments, I decide, you know, I'm, I'll make a video about it and, uh, you know, squirt some views out of it. Yeah, squirt. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. So anyway, no point in wasting time. Let's just get right into it. First thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to KillerSkins.com, which is the place where League of Legends skins and computer viruses collide. And that's actually the perfect segue into saying that I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I am only doing this out of the kindness of my heart. So now you're going to go to Killer Skins and you're going to click on the picture with the anime girl with the Vegeta hairline and you're going to download the LCS manager. I, I don't know why they call it that. Uh, they must be big fans of the LCS over there, but I'm not. I think opening and closing my bedroom door repeatedly is more entertaining than the LCS but regardless you click LCS manager you download it and install it and if you get lost at any point there's a video tutorial though if you're having trouble installing this you should probably get back to doing some homework you're gonna need all the education you could possibly get and once you've installed it you should see a little app like this one uh, now this is the app where all your custom maps and skins go into there's a lot of cool stuff to pick from on that same website you will see all different all the different mods that are available so if you see one that you particularly like go ahead and click on it download it if it looks shady don't worry about it just download the McAvee antivirus which actually is a virus in and of itself but it scares off all the other ones and better the devil you know as they say so once you've downloaded the mod you'd like don't do anything to the file don't unzip it just drag the file straight onto the LCS launcher and it should work now, sometimes a little error message will pop up. Don't worry. That's just them accessing your credit card information. So just click the ignore or discard button and the mod should be or the mod should appear in the little uh, launcher. If it doesn't appear and you really, really want Candy King Gangplank, uh, just re-download it. That, usually that works for me. Sometimes some of them have a, a couple of different options to download it from. Uh, just try a different one and it should work at least in, in most cases I've downloaded like like six of these bitches it, it should work though it must be said that since these mods are made by Jonah Hill in a cave they're not always updated some of them get broken with the new league patches and they take a lot some time to be updated again so just make sure yours is up to date and okay now that we're done with the cancer we can actually get to see some of these skins now this video is mostly about map skins, but they've got a lot of custom skins for champions that I think are now essential for any one tricks out there. Starting with uh, Ronald McDonald Shaco. Uh, case in point, this is the only skin for Shaco you should be using from now on. I really can't think of anything better. Plus, if you're a Shaco man, you're already a psychopath, so you should feel right at home with Ronald McDonald. You also got a Dio set for all you fans of JoJo's out there. Yeah, this is, this is actually a cool skin. I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is a pretty nice skin. Oh yeah, this this is a cool clip. This is a cool clip right here. Yeah, yeah this was a nice one. Yeah, this is this is what happens when Riot goes on vacation for two weeks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now again, it is worth mentioning that only you can see these skins. Uh, nobody else, which is unfortunate. No one will get to see your Among Us Amumu uh, hitting the rift, but. They also have different announcers for the game. My favorite is uh, Samuel L. Jackson as the Summoner's Rift announcer, which is, in my head, I never even thought to put those two things together, but it's actually the partnership I didn't know I needed. I think it, it really brings the game to life. Just go ahead and just take a listen. Welcome to New Work, motherfucker. That's my, 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 my label, whatever his name is. That motherfucker's dead. Well, we all saw this coming. Mm, 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 taste it! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Hellborn wins! So naturally, that's a that's a permanent stay in my games now. Uh, but now we get to see some of these maps. Yeah, it's what we came here to see. Obviously, it's prime time for the Winter Rift, and it's great. But I'm sure everyone has seen it before. So this version, there's a different version. It's called the Frozen Rift. And instead of snow covering the map, it looks like the entire map is actually just lies beneath this layer of ice. It's actually pretty cool. 
The only downside is you're still playing League of Legends. I can't help you with that one, but if you actually look at this Zyra right here, uh, the Zyra starts off the game telling this uh, tragic tale of her previous game uh, where Yorick refused to lane swap with her and then proceeded to go 0-9 versus a Vladimir, then blamed her for um, what I can only infer was a loss, right? Now, literally, three minutes later, this same Zyra goes to poke the enemy under their tower, gets rooted under the tower, flashes away, and dies anyway. Now, I, I, I find myself in a, in a pretty precarious position, so I, I jiggle my ass cheeks with furious fervor to see if my maybe my jungler would care to assist, but he's uh, playing jungle, this dude is barely awake, so that would also explain how he wandered down here, because I, I personally haven't seen a jungler in three months, and the result... Uh, not not good we get triple killed by the Jin, and so you see the enemy ad carry just got a triple kill which means as the opposing ad carry i'm gonna get blamed for it the whole game even though i clearly had nothing to do with it i have a zyra who just inadvertently admitted to being a serial inter my jungler literally got hit by zoe bubble in real life this game is already over and i had absolutely no say in it whatsoever but the map looks nice. I mean, it's definitely a nice change of pace from the one we've had for like six years. Plus, we actually won that game. So, am I saying the map had something? I mean, we should lose this game 10 out of 10 times. I'm pretty sure this gen was just playing from like, I don't know, the inside of an operating washing machine to somehow end up losing this game. I have no idea. I don't know how he managed that one. Also, can I ask you guys a question? Why do I keep hearing Vayne is good right now? I swear to god, every time I play this champ, I'm just like... If the enemy team has a mid laner and he's... Conscious. Uh, my champion is useless. But, with this map, I can be useless to a soft autumn setting. I can get one shot by LeBlanc to the sweet sounds of Taylor Swift's folklore. And... If you like a little something a little more twilighty, you, you can get yourself some of the Ruined Rift map. Uh, this one uh, you might have to do some messing around with because at least for me it was a little too dark But just mess around with the contrast and the brightness in the settings And uh, this is easily one of the cooler maps if you don't get triggered by the absolute atrocity of lore that it's related to And uh, now this next one is called the uh, Crystal Rift And it's another one you might want to do some messing around with But this is probably my favorite one right now This map combined with Samuel L. Jackson as the announcer just uh, they, I don't, they just really do it for me right now And uh I understand if you have some questions as to, you know, whether or not these maps could make the game harder to run. Uh, it has not, in my experience, been the case, but then again, I have a 2080 Ti and I run League of Legends at like 600,000 frames per second, so... However, in case any of you are trying to run this game on your Tamagotchis and you obviously don't have a lot of graphics power to spare, I got you with an alternative. Uh, the Low Res Rift. Uh, I'm not sure if it's canon, but... As the name implies, this is the low resolution version of League of Legends. And believe it or not, the, the one you're seeing right now is actually the highest quality setting for this map. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a glitch happening right here where the water actually looks like water. And so again, these are things the creators will get to. It's just, you know, these custom maps are usually one or two man projects, but... You know, they, they will eventually get to and squash these little bugs that happen, but you know, you gotta be patient. And uh, now, if we want to, if we if we'd like to see the lowest setting, what the lowest setting looks like, so this is actually the medium setting. Um, so your average Motorola Razor could probably run this one. Oh, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. It, it doesn't. It actually doesn't look that much different from the medium setting. Uh, but how much further would you really like science to go? You know what I mean? And again, I apologize about the water i promise you they're working on a fix as of right now instead of the six million frames per second you could be getting you're probably only getting like 140 150 uh and that's just not acceptable uh and that's all i got for you guys today hopefully every, every time uh, somebody asks me about the maps i'm using i can just direct them to this video and i won't have to explain it over and over and over and over and over again and yeah hopefully hope you guys had a great christmas uh hopefully you guys aren't out there catching the vid uh, I hear it's popping off again, so stay safe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a like and fly me like a kite, and I'll roll the outro, bitch. Bitch! Bitch!
bitch.